Everyone face forward now. Attention, cheer up. Can you bow? So, uh, you know, testing is not easy. You guys went through a, a test today yourselves, and uh, it's kind of nerve-wracking, and sometimes you mess up, and sometimes you uh, make a mistake, sometimes you don't make a mistake, and things go well. It can, it can go either way. It's hard to say what's going to happen when you when you get put in that setting. But it is a uh, great exercise for what can happen in, in life. You know, there's lots of tests in life. Uh, maybe it could be your driver's test. You know, maybe it could be in school. Maybe it could be a hot day. You know, you never know. And so the question is, how will you uh, cope with those, the, that um, with that situation, with those with those tests that you experience in life? And so uh, you know, group uh, promotion testing is instructive not only because it gives you a, the opportunity to show that you're ready to move on to the next level in front of a panel of judges, but it also builds character. It helps you to uh, deal with those situations. And uh, persevere through those, those tough situations and uh, come out a better person. Uh, now, Kenneth has been here since uh, just about as long as I have. He, he's been here uh, for a very long time. And uh, there's people that were doing class uh, 10 years ago at this location who stopped. They took a long hiatus and uh, then they came back and Kenneth was still here. You know, it was very fascinating. And he's, he's uh, done a really great job. He came here originally as a red belt and um, from a different studio, had a prior martial arts experience, and I r recall when he got his third degree black belt, he told me, well, this is pretty much it for me, there's, there's no chance I'll get to my, my fourth degree, and I said, no, come on, Kent, you know, don't, don't, hang, uh, don't, don't hang up your hat yet, and uh, he came back to class and, and started plugging away, and, you know, sure enough, uh, you know, this uh, past spring, he was, he was pretty close to being ready, and he had, you know, another four or five years had just gone by like that. And um, so I'm very proud that he, he persevered through that. And uh, today he is officially a master. He was always a master in my book, but uh, now it's, uh, it's official. Um, Stephen and Samantha have been just uh, fixtures. You know, Samantha has gone off to college now. It's very important, and I'm very proud of her, and she's, she's taking the next step. And uh, Stephen's kind of like uh, stepping into her shoes a little <laughs> bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, they've been just uh, so instrumental in, in teaching and helping out Taylor as well. You know, Taylor is really uh, blossomed as a person and uh, has just, just made tremendous strides. Um, Amber and Jackson are, are just about as good as they get. You know, they're, they're two excellent students. If you watch, if you have the opportunity to watch Amber and Demo team, or give the opportunity to see Jackson when he spars. You know, we had a, a new kid. Uh, another black belt for a different studio come, and that's always a little bit, you know, you know, always unsure what you're going to get when you uh, meet black belts from a different studio. Sometimes they're very, very hard, uh, sometimes not. This kid was pretty tough, so I, I had to toss Jackson in there with him, you know, <laughs> and he uh, sparred very well. Hold that thought for one second, take it. So we got a we got a good group here. We've got a very unique uh, bunch of people here. They're all special. They all have their their um, their own attributes, their own strengths. And uh, they've all shown that they, they have the ability to persevere. And uh, so it's a very good day. Today is an excellent day. And one more thing I'll say. You know, we go to Master Shim Studio for testing because if you do everything in-house, it has a tendency to kind of free down the, uh, the, the gene pool a little bit. It, it, um, the result is that if you, you're preparing your own students, and you're testing your own students, and you're certifying your own students, it's very easy to build a strong relationship with those people and then, you know, not ever want to see anybody fail. So we go to Master Shim Studio where they don't really care very much about us. They, they, they give a hoot whether or not uh, we're a good person or whether or not we work hard. All, all they're interested in, result, in, in is results. And, uh, you know, some of the people have an axe to grind. You know, I think they want to have to prove something. But routinely, our students go down there in front of the judges and just, just tear it up. They just do a, a fantastic job. And you can see the the uh, difference in their ability to execute, uh, especially the self-defense techniques, the forms, um, their, their performances are, are generally very superb. And um, it's because of all the hard work work that they do, you know. Um, they, they put in a lot of time, and the results speak for themselves. And uh, so, without any more jabbering, I'm going to just get down and put some belts on, on uh, these guys. So, yeah, it's basically...